when you went back and, and watched the film from Saturday, how did you evaluate it? What you see? Well, we got off track early. You know, we're, we're three plays and out, three series in a row. We never got the run game going, and that affected the whole day. And, uh, we had a plan to play fast and try to get them tired, and you don't get people tired three and out. So uh, uh, it was disappointing in our protection errors early in the game. Uh, later on, it got a little better, but uh, not being able to run the ball is not acceptable, and we got to get better at it. They show you anything you didn't expect, or no? They uh, they played about like we thought they'd play. They're a good football team. They're a really good football team, and uh, we we made some mental errors early in protection. We uh, didn't execute the run game when we had the opportunities. Did y'all make it out of Saturday pretty well healthy? I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got to play Wade Hanson a little bit at the end, which he showed he, he did really well, and uh, so that's encouraging that he can step in when the game's on the line and uh, and do a good job. So uh, that was encouraging. Do you expect any shuffle this week or anything like that? Are you trying to do things? Uh, not next? right now. We we, we are working some guys around in there, uh, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens Saturday. Appreciate it. Yes. Thanks. Much. subbing guys, you got a guy in for this guy, and then you put in a different package, and the guy's not used to coming off the field, and now he needs to come off the field, and those things like that. So we just got to be more into the game. We got to be more detailed as coaches as far as just making sure that, um, you know, we have those guys right and understanding which packages they're in. Noticed you giving them some extra running, extra work at the end of practice. Mm -hmm. Given how they had played against Iowa State, I mean, how surprised were you with what happened in that first quarter especially? Well, I was surprised from the standpoint that, um, you know, we didn't make plays that I'm accustomed to us making. Those guys came out, they threw some good balls, they made some good plays, but it was some of, a lot of it was us not making plays that I'm accustomed to us making, playing with great technique and um, winning on our leverage side and those things of that nature. You guys have, I looked it up today, I think only three other FBS teams have allowed more plays of 20 plus yards so far this year. Than, I mean, mm -hmm. is there any Sort of trend to those big plays, or anything common thread to some of those big plays you guys are giving up? Uh, losing leverage, missing tackles after a ball's been caught, things of that nature. Um, not getting our head back on the deep balls and things like that. Things that we gotta, um, you know, we're trying to emphasize right now and get better on. You guys played a lot of man coverage again. Was there any thought of? Change. It seemed like you played it the whole game, and in the second and in third quarters, it stabilized. But then that last drive, they kind of was there any? Why didn't you guys? Why did you stay in that the whole time? Why were you guys? Well, we that? we did do some adjustments where we bluff man, got into some zones, he ended up balls he was throwing. We got a couple sacks off of him, but that's that's kind of what we do also at the same time, and it's. If it's a fallacy with it, we got to correct our technique and we have to um, get those things better. We can't wholesale change what we do, but we did make some adjustments. What's, I guess, what's your message to Brandon this week? I mean, it seemed like he played a little better once he got benched in the first quarter, but what's, what's been your message to him this week? What's, what's left for him? What, what does he need to do to get back to where he was a year ago? He just needs to get fully healthy. Right now, he's not fully healthy. He's not playing with the confidence and the movement. Of the Brandon of last year, right now uh, we went and we looked at the Georgia Tech game from last year. And when you look at Brandon's games from this year, I looked at those good with him, and it's just that's why I've been I was seven and even beforehand the first game of the year because we're trying to work him back. But I guess until he's fully healthy, um, we don't know how long or when exactly that's going to be. So we still he's got to practice to a mode and get himself back where he gets his confidence back. We ask him to do if that makes sense. You know, we tell him, okay, on this play, if the offensive tackle on the tight end have the uh, defensive end pinned inside, just keep it going outside. And he did that exactly right one time, but in the process, there was a big old cutback that opened up too. So you're not going to fault him for not cutting it back, but you're saying, hey, if this thing opens up, don't be afraid to take it. And that's what I talked to him about yesterday was, I want them playing faster. You know, let's not think so much. I don't think they are. I don't want them to feel like, okay, if I don't produce on this play, I'm coming out of the game and all that, because it's not that situation. Um, but they got a good feel for what we're doing, and uh, we'll get more and more comfortable as they go. I thought they both had Shy and Marshawn and Trey and JC 
both. I thought all four of them had probably our best Tuesday practice that we've had all year today. So hopefully we can keep getting more and more comfortable and, and get to uh, get to Saturday. I know everybody wants, speaking generally, uh, improvement every week. Right. It's going to get a little better every week. Sure. And I guess that's probably not realistic to expect. That. Uh, obviously we saw real, real high and then we saw this. Right. I mean, how confident are you that things are going to incrementally improve every week as we go from here on out? Now it's kind of been reset. No, I think that's the uh, I think that's the plan. I mean, it, uh, you do want to get better every day, every week. You were an athlete in college. I mean, that's realistic. That's what you try and do. Like, where can we get Where can we get better today? You know, one little thing. Let's try and get a little better every day. And, and on Saturday, you know, first glance, we were not good for a lot of the game on Saturday. And then, you know, you look at it. It's just it's little things here and there. You know, we had we had more receivers running open against East Carolina than we did against Ohio State. But for whatever reason, we didn't capitalize on those opportunities. And that's been the, bigger, the biggest thing this week is let's get better, but we really need to heart more, or we always do, but let's really focus on the details. You know, if it's a, if the quarterback's supposed to take a five-step drop, take five, not six or seven. If the receiver's supposed to be at 16 yards, be at 16, not 19. If the tailback's supposed to be seven and a half yards deep, be seven and a half yards deep, not six. Because every little thing, especially on offense, if you're not just locked on like that, it, it can look bad like it did on Saturday. And I'm not saying we were good on Saturday, but it wasn't as – looking at the video, it was – somewhat encouraging in that you had a lot of opportunities to make plays but we didn't capitalize on it. But it's nothing that's not correctable. So to answer your original question, I think it's very realistic to get better each and every week as those as those younger guys get more and more comfortable. And Isaiah said it yesterday. I mean he was he is a coaching staff we felt played the best on offense. He was our offense player of the game. And I saw where he said it to you guys in the press conference that he didn't think he played that well and there were about twenty plays in there that he could have been better on, whether it be technique or assignment, whatever it might be. So that's encouraging when there's it's correctable things. The, the uh, I, I obviously yeah. follow. We're not going to talk about it. We're it's, with the statement we put out is what, what's out, and we're going to move on. He had that that drop on Saturday. Do you feel like whatever's going on was affecting his play, or or is it no, time no, no, no? This is just, one thing really doesn't have to do with the other. It just kind of kind of just happened around the same time. Gotcha. Carlos came back last week. Any chance of him in there this week? You know what? I, I really, I really hope so. I really do. Uh, you know, he he practiced today. Uh, you know, look good out there, and, and you really hope that we can get him back going. Again, the two guys that, that I feel like really need to step up and start uh, giving this team some help is, is, is Carlos and Dimitri, and uh, we're going to have to use those guys, you know, for the rest of the season, and we knew that going into the season, those guys, we were going to need them. They just haven't had the opportunities yet, and uh, moving forward, we're going to have to really rely on those guys to make some big plays, not only down the field, but but in other aspects of the game. They're going to have to play minutes, and, and that's good. That's what you want. That's why you want to – that's why you have – Six, seven, eight guys that you want to be able to play, and and uh, those guys are no different, and we got to get them rolling. You were obviously very excited about the freshmen coming into the season. Did you think by the third week they would be the guys there in crunch time, getting the majority of? of all the reps I tell you, there? Andy, I, I think they've kind of <laughs> outdone my expectations at this point, uh, this early in the season. I felt like at some point those guys uh, would be big time contributors, and. Like I, like I said before the season, where are they going to start? Where they're not going to start? Who knows? But, but that would play itself out. But to think at this point, four games in, that both of those guys could potentially be starting on Saturday, uh, you know, that I, I wouldn't have told you that. And uh, but hey, it's great. If, if they're the two best guys they're playing, they're going to be the starters. Willie's having a good season so far. He, he had a great day today. He's, he's obviously the leader of our group. Continue to be the leader of the group. He's taken those young guys under his wing and done a great job helping them out. And and uh, you know, I really like where our core is at right now. Sorry to answer this already. To play this offense, was it such a run first attack? Uh, it's definitely big. You know, you got to come with a different mentality. You know, we got to get up, get up in there. You know, throw, throw, your, throw your neck in there sometimes. You know, make some big time tackles and things like that. 
and uh, great definitely, today. definitely got to come with a different mindset. Do you also though have to stay aware of the pass because at some point yeah, they'll definitely. pull up and throw something? Definitely, you know, we put uh, what we put on film last week. You know, I'm sure they're going to take their shots. And, uh, you know, we got to we got to be prepared for both. Tell me a little bit about last week. Did do you think you guys got exposed, or do you feel like y'all just had a bad game? You know, I, don't, I definitely don't think we got exposed. You know, me personally, you know, I trust all these guys on the team. Brandon, Chuck. Uh, bond to everybody, you know. But uh, you know, we just didn't make plays. You know, some days, some days be like that. We just gotta learn from it, get better, and you know, try to try to be better next week. It yeah. seems like you played such a high risk defense where you guys are kind of out there on an island. I mean, is that bound to happen eventually that somebody might have a better day on you guys if, if you can have that many one on one matchups? I wouldn't say bound to happen. You know, it's not something that we just think we know that's gonna happen. You know, our mindset is, you know, we gonna hold it down. We are gonna do what we need to do to win things like that. We know teams are going to make plays here and there, but, you know, we know we got enough talent to make plays ourselves. So I wouldn't say we just go in there thinking it's bound to happen. Did you guys feel like you had it sort of solved? I mean, from the middle of the second quarter on, they didn't do a whole lot until that very last drive. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, we trusted the game plan. You know, we knew we knew what type of offense they were, they were going to be. You know, we knew they were going to take their shots. And uh, I think between the – between that first quarter and the fourth quarter, we were just stepping up and making plays. And uh, I think that was that was really the difference. Did you watch Kyle's game Sunday night? I did. Yes, yeah. sir. What did you think? Big I was excited. Yeah. He made some real big plays. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Got a thrust in there in the second half, but you made all your catches basically in the last quarter and a half. Um, that was probably the most playing time that you've had. Uh, what did you see out there, and uh, and how were you able to make all those plays? Um, really, the coach just did a great job uh, calling the right plays. Uh, quarterback did a good job finding me. And, uh, you know, I don't think at the end of the day, obviously, it resulted in a, you know a couple of catches at the end, but uh, still didn't get the win. You had uh, the touchdown right at the end on an out and up, and the play before that, you called an out. I feel like the play previous kind of baited that corner into biting on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we definitely put that in. Uh, Coach Moore had uh, called us to the sideline, and it was just like, uh, you know, just beware of the stutter. So uh, we called the, the comeback before, and then ran a stutter to play right after, and then got a touchdown. You're in a starting role now. Um, do you prepare yourself any differently? Is it, how's, how's it feel to be a starter now? I mean, I guess you're going into your fourth game as a true freshman. I'm just trying to figure out how to You know, I'm just taking it one day at a time. You know, I want to say just, you know, I was starter because uh, you know every day you gotta put in work, uh, just prove my worth. So uh, I'm just trying to work hard every day at practice and uh, just keep uh, you know finding the coach's eyes. They talked about. Uh you know, everybody could have done something more. I mean, Isaiah said, you know, he had a, a good game from the standpoint of uh, he was out there doing interviews. The coaches nominated him as offensive player of the game, but he said there were probably 20 plays where he could have done uh, something better, you know, whether it was alignment or running the wrong route or whatever. You kind of, do you kind of feel the same way? Oh, definitely. Uh, I don't think there is a such thing as a perfect game. Uh, we watched film and I uh, saw there was a, a lot of plays that we left on the field, a lot of opportunities. And, uh, you know, moving forward, we can't have those if you want to be where we want to be at the end of the season. We got to tighten up and uh, you know just focus on the details and make those plays. The fact that you guys were down by 14 with just about I don't know maybe eight or seven or eight minutes left in the game, but you were able to score two touchdowns to come back. Does that does that give you any confidence at all going into the future, knowing if we are down, we do have the capability of going down the field quickly and coming back? Oh, definitely. Uh, the coaches stress that to us every day. We can be a very dangerous team. Uh, we showed that you know toward the end of the game, but uh, we want to be as dangerous as we believe we can be, then we're going to have to start way faster and uh, just carry that momentum throughout the whole game. I appreciate it, Cam.